everyone, my name is Janet. I'm 18 years old and I'm in college. And one of my few hobbies when I'm not on Facebook like 25-7 is photography. So just imagine my surprise when I found out my own uncle invented something that could improve photography. And today I'm going to share this new technology with everyone who enjoys photography, whether it's behind the lens or at a gallery for all for everyone to see. So everyone's heard of, heard of high definition, right? It's all the rage these days, from movies to TV. And now, with this new invention, to photography. My uncle's new invention allows for cameras to capture even the tiniest details, whether it's the vivid colors of an orchid or the reflection off of someone's sunglasses. And best of all, you can even see the difference between the old flat photos and these new HD photos. And today, I want to show you some examples. So in this first picture, we have a hummingbird. And you can see the clear focus on the bird, especially with the blurry background. And the most distinguishing part is the bird's wing, which we can actually see. Um, if you capture this with a normal camera without high, without high definition, you have to open the aperture to at least 2.8 to even capture the motion of the wing, but you you will lose um, the depth of field. However, as you can see here with the HD technology, you can you can get the wing as well as depth of field, and in addition, you can create a round dimension which allows you to see a detailed picture of the bird's head and. Even more, you can even see the flowers, which, which are, um, which doesn't just, it's on the side and doesn't distract you from the bird, but you can see tiny details on um, the flowers itself. And in this new example, we have a picture of orchids. And with the HD, you can tell the rich colors of the dark purple, the light purple, the green, the white the burgundy and even the yellow, slight yellow here. And um, you can even see the small details of the leaf even though it's behind the orchid and it's not the clear focus. And um, you can see uh, something peeking out right here from the bud. Uh, it looks like it would be white, a white flower. And um, you can see the depth of field. It shows perfectly here. You can see this bud is um, in front of the stem. And uh, with the HD, you can even see the roundness of each bud itself. And we have another picture of a flower. And I believe this flower is called Plumeria. And you can overall, you can see the picture is pink. But with the HD uh, installed in his camera which is he used a Canon PowerShot for this one uh, the Canon PowerShot SF200 and he could get even more details like this is yeah the the pink the flower is pink but you see this part is dark pink this part is white pink this underneath will be a white whitish color and then in the middle you can even see the yellow and it it just gradient into the pink and that's just amazing detail and you can see in the background you can see the leaves and even the stems right here you see there's two um, I think that's two buds coming out and you can see just the segments of the stem and even the segments in the leaves behind it and it's just it's just very beautiful color and a very beautiful picture. And in this next picture we have a picture of a blue heron and the most fascinating thing about this is that this picture was taken in a low light yet there's still so much detail from the rippling of the water in the pond in the background to the water droplet on its beak to its feathers coming off and skin is peeling 
And you can even see the multicolors of its feathers, um, the black whitish feathers that blends into the gray brownish colors. And then its hair, you can see single strands as well. And the beak is just so many colors. There's yellow, orange, blue, and white. And it's just the main detail given the fact that it was taken in a very bad uh, condition. Like, uh, like I said, in the low lights. And in this next picture, we have a picture of a little girl. She's just enjoying her summer day in the pool. And you can see the details. You can see the individual droplets on her floaty. You can even see it right here on her skin. And um, you can see her skin tone. And it's not flat like you would see in a regular camera. You can even see the individual strands of yarn on her hat. And even the individual strands of her hair, even though it's under the shade of her hat. And most of all, you can even see the reflection off of her legs in her sunglasses, and that's just very amazing detail. And for this next example, we have a picture of a shipwreck that is part of a museum somewhere in Oregon. And first of all, you can see the many colors of the decaying ship, from the orange to the, the brown of the wood to the green. Um, you can even see the roundness of these poles that are standing in the water and the ripples uh, of the water itself. You can even see the detailed bridge in the background which um, gives it a very good depth of field. And you can even see some houses in the background in the mountains. And you can even see the lamppost of the street. Um, next to the exhibit. And in this last example, we have a picture of a bird. And I believe this picture was also published in a magazine somewhere. Um, you, overall, it's very detailed. It almost looks 3D, especially with the blurry background which separates the bird itself from the background, but it still blends in. You can see um, the roundness of the beak the HD and you can see the multi um, colored feathers and the individual strands on the feathers though which we rarely see in a regular camera. Um, you can even see the tiny 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 drop of water on its beak I would say and then um, there's a reflection off the eye which is just um, amazing and it just adds to the picture itself. And now that you've seen all the examples, let me tell you a bit more about this new HD technology. It is called SNS, which means you can just snap and shoot it, and it is taken in a single frame. It doesn't require a lot of software editing, and you don't have to use the high dynamic range application to edit it. Yet, it can be used in cell phones, such as the new Nokia and Samsung models, which already have um, a 12 megapixel camera included in it. Um, and if this new technology is used in the cell phones, it will be an amazing thing for users because it will combine both cell phone and camera without the extra cost of a digital or professional camera. It will be easy for me to upload a picture of Facebook. Anyway, in addition to all this, my uncle is also developing his own HD studio where people can go and have their own high, defi high definition pictures taken whether it's for headshots, or weddings, or just because you want to. And um, you don't even have to develop these pictures because if you have an HETV like we do right here, you can just plug it in and um, enjoy it from your, camp your TV. And, because, and it'd be even more detailed and more colorful because the HGTV has much more color than um, developing pictures will allow you to see. And you can find more pictures and information on my uncle's website at www.photoforarts.com. And I hope you all enjoyed these photos and thank you for listening. I'm Janet and I hope, hope you all have a great day. Bye!